Okay. Um, hey guys, it's Thomas. Part two of the story, okay, from the first story, uh, should be right here. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're not, sorry. But uh, part two of the story is uh, one very protected me. This was uh, probably in uh, 1981, about February of uh, 1981. Uh, we were both juniors in high school. And uh, Barry was going to one school, and I was going to another school. And usually in uh, 11th grade, uh, they have little party discos at in high schools. So you can shake your booty and meet other people, other co eds. So Barry was going to uh, one of the uh, Madden schools in Baltimore City. It was called Poppy. Uh, he was Poppy. He had the B course at the time before uh, he stepped down to the T course. They went on to have the T course, but uh, he was in the grade. And uh, he asked me, he said, hey, come on, man. <laughs> We're having a party at, the, at that school. I want you to come. Oh, man. It's Friday night, and I'm tired of working in school. I don't want to do this. But he said, come on, man. You fucking good. Come on, come on. And I said, all right, all right, okay, all right. So um, we go um, catch the bus, okay, um, to Polly. Okay, it's in, it's in uh, northwest Baltimore, okay. And uh, we had to catch the number 10 bus. And it was in February, or late February. It was cold out there. Okay, but I think we got. A, I think we caught a ride. Uh, I think his buddy Al. Uh, Al is, um, if you remember, if, if you saw the, the Spanish rice story, uh, um, you got to listen to the Spanish rice because Al was older than Barry and uh, he was in the 12th grade and Barry was in the 11th grade and uh, Barry helped him out when he got sick at uh, the prom with the Spanish rice so uh, you got to go see the Spanish rice um, story in order to get the tail end of that or get the, the gist of that, that story but anyway um, he um, was, Al gave us a ride. Okay, so what we did was uh, I met some some other people that he knew. Um, and Barry was a very popular guy there because you know everybody knew him. He was a very friendly person. Okay, if you get to know him, um, you know he he's he's you know, he's really cool. You know, um, uh, funny sometimes, uh, but he's you know, but he's he was cool. He likes his music, so I met some friends. Uh, that I would probably meet again, uh, that I've met again. But anyway, um, so I went to the bathroom, <clears throat> and uh, I <clears throat> used the bathroom. I was coming out. I was jamming, but I was minding my own business. So it was the two two other guys. I don't know them from Adam. I don't know who they are. One was a dark skin guy. One was a light skin brother. You know, they they were like, "What are you doing here?" I'm using the bathroom. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, uh, we want you to give us five dollars. <laughs> really now? <laughs> I don't have five dollars. <laughs> oh man, well you, uh, it looked like you got some money, and he started to you know get in my face. And he's like, you know, you know, I want you, I want five dollars from you because you know because I don't like the way you look. Oh, really? I don't know you. <laughs> I ain't got five dollars for you. So I'm sorry, I can't help you. So um I know they were a joke to me. So I just walked up, walked away from them and kept on my business and walked to going towards uh the dance floor. Because, you know, I'm like, psh, psh, I don't know these dudes, you know, and I don't give a bleep about them, you know, because you know. I'm chilling. I'm trying to meet the ladies, and I'm having a good time. The music was good, so I'm like, <laughs> I ain't got no time for you. So then, as I walk out, um, the guys come back, and they start grabbing me. You know, they start, you know, hey, hey, hold up a second. 
So then, out of, uh, out of the corner of my eye, uh, well, I couldn't see him, but Bernie was watching me uh, because he knew I went to the bathroom, but he wanted to make sure I was coming back because, you know, I, the school, i never been there before. And he wanted to make sure that, you know, I get back so that, you know, we go back to the floor and we do our little dance and that kind of thing, you know. So he saw the two dudes approach me uh, talking that junk. So Barry's like, uh-uh, this is not going to happen to my school. It's not going to happen to my man. So Barry brought um, uh, two of his or three of his friends uh, from school. He said, yo, man, what's up? <laughs> I said, that's okay. Barry. I said, these, these two dudes want to get five dollars from me. I don't know them. I said, look, man. <laughs> Barry was like, yo, leave them alone, okay? <laughs> you don't even go here. Y'all need to go, okay? And then he had his backup, his two other boys. He said, yeah, get out of here. So, long story short, they got they got left. They got kicked out. So he, he came, to my, came to my rescue. And I really thanked him for it, yeah. And so in high, in high school, he part of this little posse called Bro Five Bro. Um, it's kind of they they had they like a little clique, a little fraternity, and he was in Bro Five Bro. So um, so he was part of the clique. So because he was part of the clique, I was part of the clique too because that's my man. So um, I had <laughs> I had I had protection. So so it was cool, you know we. It's another situation where we you know, he watched my back and I watched his, so it was it was cool. Um, so you know, <laughs> um, it was good. And then uh, uh, I think the second time and this is going to be a carry on. This is going to be a, a rabbit hole here. Um, I remember we uh, we went there a second time uh, to the poly disco, and um, um, he met his uh, <clears throat> his girlfriend. Valerie, that was Valerie's, that was 11th grade Valerie, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure we told that story or not, but anyway, um, but Valerie was there, and so I met Valerie for the first time, um, so uh, we were dancing with some of the girls over there, and um, we were catching the 10, number 10 bus back home to Baltimore, I mean back downtown, we catch the 20, and he slept over at my crib at my house, we slept in the basement together, you know. We had a basement bed, double bed, and that's the only time we, well, he slept over here a couple times, but he was drunk. <laughs> but he came over, you know, and uh, we slept together downstairs in the basement. It was pretty cool. I never slept down in the basement before. We had a good time because um, it was too late. And he wanted to say, you want to come over? I said, okay, well, come on. We, let's go we sleep downstairs, you know. It was cool. We didn't get in, we didn't get in here until about maybe 2, maybe like 3, 3.30. My parents didn't didn't mind because they know they knew him and, and it was cool that we could hang out and you know go to the poly disco you know we didn't have car at, at all but we just caught the bus and I had these thin shoes man the shoes are like this and they were pointy too and they were for summer they were for summer and my feet was cold I was never so happy to see the number ten bus. <laughs> I brought tears to my eyes. We had to, it was so cool that they kicked us out. So it had to be about they kicked, it was probably like about twelve thirty one o'clock. But but the bus, but see what happened when we left out of the gym. It was might have been about twelve thirty. Okay, and uh, he was hanging around, but we didn't have a car. And he was trying to get a ride for us, but nothing fell through for us. Okay, so we had to catch the bus. Okay, so. Um, but when we were trying to get a trying to get a ride, um, I saw the number ten bus stop, and some people got on. Excuse me, and they went down, head down downtown Baltimore. So, which is like about four or five miles, so it could have been about twenty minutes. But the thing is, at that time of the night, the bus runs on a every hour schedule. So. The twelve thirty bus left us, so here comes the one thirty bus. So we were outside for a whole hour and a half <laughs> to catch the bus, which they were like about 
10, 12 other people out there waiting for us. And I had this, I had these thin shoes, man. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was done. I was tired. I was shaking my booty. Plus, I was, uh, I, I worked all, I mean, I went to school all day long. And, you know, I was tired. I was a dog. I was a beat dog. And there was a place across the street called um, Shane's. Um, you know, um, the place is gone now. But we, I thought about going over there, but I didn't have no money. So, <laughs> it get warm. But, you know, it's a, but anyway, we, we caught the bus and we made it downtown and we caught the 20 to get to get us home. So, that was, uh, <laughs> that was a, that was a, that was a crazy night. <laughs> so, yeah, we made it, uh, we made it home. Uh, we made it here. And uh, that was a, a cool, cool trip. But anyway, um, so that was the story. And so anyway, um, I got one more story for you guys, but I'm going to give you um, another story uh, next. It's going to be completely different. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for listening. I hope you enjoyed the content. Um, please check me out on Facebook. Um, please uh, look at my uh, social media. Please look at my um links um, for money saving products um, or if you like the content drop me a line okay let me know something or uh, at least give me some cash over to keep the the content going uh, on cash app okay have a brother out please it's Christmas time <laughs> and I've been I've been doing this for a while I really enjoyed it okay all right guys take care all right, bye-bye.